But again, the game, the emotional game we talked about, Jarvis can't get caught trying to go tit for tat. If he takes one, he can't just be so anxious to get one back that he throws all these crazy punches and tries to come to range without any kind of setup because that is where Gibbs is successful. You're right, we've got to remove the emotion. He's, he's got to relax and just get to work. There's a nice double jab right there. At the right range, and that's what, how he started the first, is how he's starting the second. Some big swings and misses there from Jarvis, but again, did a better job of getting his head off the center. One of the keys coming out of the Thompson Eddie fight was that Jarvis kept his head on the center line continuously. And maybe it was a part of the strategy to be able to hold that high guard and say, I'm just going to gas Tom out. One guy you're not gassing out is if he's not good. And Gibbs beginning to work the body nicely now as well when he gets the opportunity, especially with the right hand. Control in the center right now, Gibbs is. Jarvis having a hard time getting combinations going because Gibbs is just so much with his onslaught, his pressure, right? The combinations, it isn't just the pace, it's the combinations behind it. You're trying to find avenues to throw and counter back, but you just can't. And that right lands clean to the body again. He's, he's settling into a nice little groove here now. That was a beautiful frame from Gibbs, too. He jabbed, left that frame out there so that he could measure for his next shot. And ultimately, it kept him at distance to where he didn't land or he didn't get hit with a big one. You see Jarvis waving that right hand around, right? It's the tell. He knows oh, that's another one that gets through. But Gibbs should see that right hand as Jarvis continues to wave, and he wants to go to it. It's always a danger when you use, you know, well, one thing we see coming to modern boxing is the distraction jab. Yep. You've got to be careful with it. Yeah, there's no purpose behind that shot. He can easily be slipped and thrown with some purpose behind You leave it hanging. Absolutely. And that's when it's slipped, and that's when the shot lands. And again, you're seeing Gibb on the front foot, giving no space to Jarvis here, right? Oh, nice left hand there from Gibb on the ropes. And then solid jab to the body, and he's out of range. That's been the problem for Jarvis in right. the second round. Jarvis the a solid left hook there. And again, he's starting to walk down Gibb now. He's had some success on the front foot, but on the back. And this was a question for both guys coming into this. I talked to, to even Kenny's coach, Daley Perales, who said, I don't know if either guy can box on the back foot. And that's going to be a, a challenge here, too. Who was able to control range not only forward, but control it backward, walk your opponent on to shots, right? We haven't really seen that from either guy yet. We haven't seen either dominate, really. You just feel it is that old cliche, the seesaw battle. It's going yep. back and forward. And just when you think one of them's getting their range, the other comes back, and then they're just out of range again. Yeah, and the tough part with, with Gibb is when Jarvis meets him there in range, the jab is being there. But everything